Last year I did a video on mounting coral props using PVC pipe. Um, this year I bought some uh, pixel poles from Gilbert Engineering, the uh, impression series, as you can see from right here. And the density of the pixels is so tight using the method I did before didn't quite work out. I had to do a modification of method, so I thought I'd do a video on how I adjusted uh, my mounting technique. With the density of these pixels, it's hard to get anything in between the uh, between the lights. And so if I'll show you like what I did before, I just put a, a coupling union right up against the coral. And I can't get it in there just because uh, they're just so tightly packed together. And I realize that if I take a half inch piece of pipe, it fit right in there nicely, sits nice and flush. So that way, I just, from there, I decided to modify my technique from last year. Instead of put the coupling right in, I'll just put a piece of pipe in between it. All right, for the construction of these, I have my union. I have two stubs of PVC pipe. They're an inch and a half long. Um, I have a carriage bolt with a quarter inch carriage bolt with a quarter inch T-nut. And for this case, an elbow, I'll also be using... Uh, using T's. As I'll show you with the, uh, the T-nut here, it won't set up, it doesn't set in there and, and lock into position. But if I put on the end of the PVC pipe, it will kind of lock into place. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this stub and that union and glue it together. So first step is to get some PVC glue on the pipe. All right, and I'm just gonna put that right in the union, push it all the way to the bottom. Let it sit there like that. Next step, I'm going to take my carriage bolt with the uh, T-nut on it and just tap it into place. I think I need to get that on a solid surface here. Okay, now I just carefully unscrew my carriage bolt and so now I am locked in position there then after that some more gluing gonna take a little bit more more glue on the end of my pipe and I'm gonna put it over push it to the bottom I'm gonna set it on its side let the glue make sure it doesn't doesn't uh, gum up the threads you can also wait a little bit which i've done on a lot of them i will do a bunch of them together but here's just the first example now the last piece i'll be putting some glue on the elbow and i'm gonna screw it together with everything being cut to the same size it'll be nine three quarters inch for the fittings i have everything fits up nice and nice and snug now I'll wipe away some of the excess glue and then you repeat this as many times as you need be this can also be a t and therefore you can run uh, pipes both directions this time i'm going to do a t i got two stubs of pipe again an inch and a half long each and my union a carriage bolt with a t nut t nut on it okay first step put some glue on the the stub and put that on the union and push it in so it's all the way snug on the end okay next step carriage bolt get it on solid surface knock it into position then unscrew it oh see there it came out you got to be careful sometimes doesn't actually have to lock into position here. You just got to hold it there. When you put the next piece of PVC pipe on it, it will lock it into position. Okay, so again, I'm going to put some glue on the stub of the pipe and I'm going to slide it in place. And there we go. Okay, I'm going to clean that off a little bit, glue on the outside. I'm not a very clean user of this PVC cement, but nobody actually sees it. 
All right, so now you will see here that it is, the T-nut's now lock in place. It's not gonna go anywhere. And you're gonna be pulling this down in tension. Okay, what I like to do is I put the uh, T or the elbow right over the top of the, uh, of the flat portion of the T-nut. You see there, there's the flat portion versus this side, which has got the part that sticks down. All right, so the next step, a little more PVC cement. And then I'm gonna push that together. Sometimes you gotta tap it down to make sure it stays the same length from one to the next. And there we go. One with a T and one with an elbow on it. So I set up my, uh, my little bandsaw. It's just real small. I have it, it's convenient to cut the pipe. Uh, the one and a half inch nubs um, and what I'm doing to use, I just use a piece of wood, clamp it so it's, it gives me a nice guide and uh, I just cut a whole bunch in a row. That way I get them all the same size. If it's off a little bit, it does make a difference at the perfect size just so they're all the same. So my height on my pieces stays the same when I run the pipe across the back of it. <laughs> Put a quarter inch hole where I'm going to put the bolt. And so basically I just draw a cross here between the pixels and that is close enough. And that's where I'll take my quarter inch drill bit. Now I'm going to take the pieces we've made with the T-nuts in them. Uh, and some quarter inch bolts with washers on the end of them. Put them through the pixel pole and thread them together. You may play around a little bit to get that T-nut to line up. Just thread it by hand, get started. There we go, leave it loose because we're gonna put some pipe in between the, the fittings that we're gonna put on here. And here's the second one, doing the same thing. And that'll give me a nice solid support. I have it loose right now so I can... Uh... All right, so I've uh, cut some uh, some PVC pipe, two sections, and go from two adjacent T's. I cut it to length, length to make sure is that each T is a little bit different on the length from the edge into the seating point. So you want to measure that to make sure that you have uh, good contact, that you get the right length. And I got some towels here to protect the uh, the prop. And you see they're still loose, so I'm able to get them in into position. All right. So let it sit there, clean up a little bit, and then I'll do the other side. Just move my rags and get them in the right place. that one this side yeah it's always a messy operation with PVC cement all right so I have the center glued together next will be to cut some pipe here and on the end and fit it together just like I did the middle piece so if your only purpose was just to stiffen up these uh, pixel poles so you could move them around more easily not flexing it you can see here that just putting these two side by side accomplishes that. What I want to do here now is I want to put a piece halfway in the middle with a small piece of pipe, two T's, so I can hook those uh, PVC pipe clips to my house and hang it from there. There's the first one. Now the second one here. There we go, and I'm going to glue my fitting in place. All right, I'm gonna make sure I keep it at the right angle. 
using that pipe right next to it as a guide. There's that one. Now for the next one, other side. There we go. Okay, next step will be to pipe texture longer, just cut in the center. I haven't trimmed it to line up with my fitting. I'm just gonna mark it by eye here. Coming with my pipe cutter. Is that one? Another piece. Okay, we're all set. And I pre-cut um, the stub in between. I'm gonna put it in on one side first. All right, next bit will be to make sure I keep these as, these parallel. Oh, looks good. And finally, connect them in together. We have to do both sides because they're basically pretty much going to go in at the same time. There we go. All right, we're almost done here. Uh, last thing to do is just to flip this over and tighten up all those quarter inch bolts that. Um, we had kept loose for the installation of the pipes. So I'll just do it real quick here. We got those. Go down to the end here. I just finished this a few minutes ago. You can see it's nice and sturdy. Can handle it all as one unit, it doesn't flex on me. And I have these uh, cross pieces to mount it to, uh, to my uh, house using uh, pipe clips, which is my method of choice for a lot of my props. All right. Well, I hope this uh, helps somebody out. Uh, have a great day.